everyone. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I'm finally bringing you my bathroom makeover. Right now I'm just showing you a little bit of before. If you've been to my channel before, you know what this bathroom looks like. I have been wanting to redo this for so long. So I finally got um, just an idea of how I wanted it to look. And here I'm showing you that I just actually took off all of the hardware and spray painted it all a glossy black. I kind of wanted like a minimalist farmhouse type look for the bathroom to open it up and make it look brighter and bigger. I didn't want to go ahead and buy all new things because there was nothing wrong with what I had. I just went ahead and changed the paint color of them. I'm going to go ahead and let you um, watch what all I'm doing here. You will see that I'm using the world's smallest screwdriver because Ruben was gone and the tool um, little box thing was in the back of his truck so I had to use what I could find. Also this video is not sponsored but Lowe's or Home Depot if you're watching for any reason I would love um, a hand drill because now that I've redone this bathroom I'm so super excited and I want to do every other room of my house. So I'm going to, like I said, let you go ahead and kind of watch um, everything coming down and what I do, but make sure you stay tuned and leave your volume on because I'm going to pop in and out of here and let you guys know where I got the things that I've got and how much they were. I actually redid this whole entire bathroom for less than $75. <laughs> So I quickly wanted to pop in here and ask you to tell me in the comments below, these command strips, they scare me half to death. I'm always afraid that they're going to pop out and hit me in the face, kind of like opening a can of biscuits. Let me know in the comments below if you feel the same way. One of the first things that I knew I wanted to change in this bathroom was the shower curtain. I love it and it was beautiful, but I've had it in here for almost four years and it was time for a change anyways. Also, I could tell that when I filmed like cleaning videos in here, it just gave off like a really weird orangish light. Um, so I knew that I wanted to change it out. It needed to be done and I went ahead and changed that with a really pretty waffle cotton um, white shower curtain that I got from Walmart and it was only $9.97 and then I went ahead and changed up my liner as well.
this shelf right here I actually found at Marshalls and it was only $19.99 or $97. I don't remember exactly, but it was right at $20. Um, also, I am the queen of eyeballing everything. This is the first time I've ever used a leveler. And if you could tell my bifacial expression, I actually had it exactly level when I put it up there by myself. Um, and I'm so excited about this because this one, um, this shelf, I think I showed in another vlog a few weeks back. And it's kind of like the one at Hobby Lobby that everybody gets for their Ray Dunn, but it was much, much cheaper. you guys so if you have been on my channel um, at all for the last little bit you have heard me talk about Fred Fred is amazing he is a lifesaver and an angel and I just love him I had this idea in my head for these shelves and I had looked everywhere for them online in the stores and they were just ridiculously priced so I told him kind of what I was looking for he said, I got you. So what I did is I went out and I bought the little shelf brackets. I got those at Ollie's. They were a pack of six for $2 and gave them to him. Uh, they got spray painted actually at my work because uh, we do that kind of stuff at my work. He had some palettes at home and he just, he just, he made them for me and I'm in love with them. So you guys need to get you a Fred. He's amazing. And these shelves are just stunning. So after I got the shelves put up, it was time for me to put all the hardware back on. I wasn't able to um, show you guys putting the light bar up because I actually had to disconnect the electricity. So it was dark in there, but I did get the knobs put back on and I absolutely love them. I thought about painting the cabinets right here, but then after looking at them, um, how they're kind of, you know, worn and scuffed up, it kind of went with uh, the look I was going for. So yeah, I just left them. The next thing I worked on is this towel hook and it's another command strip, but I'm putting it on, not taking it off. So I was okay with that. Um, you'll see where I kind of place it up there and the way I had it was kind of like a square and I liked it. And then I kind of flipped it around and it looks like a diamond and I liked that too, but then I wanted to put it back um, to the square like it is right now, but I forgot that I took the back uh, papers off and it actually stuck to the wall, so I had to just leave it that way. But it still looks cute nonetheless, and I really like uh, the little pop of color right there on the wall. OK, 
Okay, you guys, here comes the fun part, the decorating. This little piece right here, I actually got at Target. It was $20, and I noticed that it was busted on the side. So your girl ended up getting it for five, and I'm so excited because you can't even see it on the back. I just left the tape around the bottom just in case, um, but I absolutely love it. These two bottles actually came from that Michaels trip that I took. Um, if you didn't see that video, I'll link it above. They were only $4.99 and it was the spring line, so they were all 40% off. So I ended up getting both of those for like $3. Also, this little bead tag came from the Dollar General and it was only a dollar. You guys don't be sleeping on the Dollar General. They are coming up with some good stuff. Um, it was a little bit too long the way it was. Uh, I wanted to put it around the top of the bottle, so I kind of finagled it a bit and finessed it and it ended up working and I absolutely love it. Uh, but yeah, looking for um, decor for this bathroom was so much fun, but I'm so indecisive. I did actually end up getting a whole bunch of really nice stuff, but I didn't want to put too much stuff in here. Um, the whole point was to make it look, you know, less cluttered, but everything that I saw I wanted. So it was, it was really hard for me, you guys, but um, you guys make sure you let me know at the end of the video, how you see everything turn out, what you think, uh, how it looks. So this little reed diffuser I actually got at Walmart and I believe it was part of the maybe fall and winter line. I'm not really quite sure, but she was on clearance for $3 as well. So I figured why not? And I liked the color that it was in and the scent is beautiful. So there you go. The little rack here, I knew that I wanted to get that for the toilet paper. Usually I have my toilet paper in a basket on the floor. And if you know Bodie, he tries to eat it, everything. So um, moving it up was a uh, thing I had to do. So that little flower sack thing right there, I know I wanted a runner for that little table thing. And I got that at Walmart for like $1.96. Those little glass jars, those came from the Dollar Gentral. The big one was three. The little one was two. So it was $5. And you know your girl had to pick up this galvanized tray from the Target dollar spot for $5. And you guys, um, I can't believe how good this came out actually. Um, I think the little cotton rounds I showed, I always use cotton rounds, but I needed some new ones anyway. So I went ahead and grabbed those to put in the little jars and it looks so cute. I'm actually really proud of myself for the way this came out. So you'll have to excuse me if I'm kind of giddy and really chit chatty through this video, but I really truly honestly am surprised in how good this came out. I'm not a big decorator. Um, you know, some of my really best girlfriends on YouTube, uh, Amanda, Christine, Dawn, you guys know who they are. I talk about them often. They are, uh, pure geniuses at decorating and I am not. I'm the black sheep of the family here, but I'm so excited on how this turned out. So again, I apologize for all my giddy uh, chit chat. So again, uh, if you see my Ray Dunn right there, I was torn on whether or not I wanted to keep it in the bathroom. I'm slowly getting rid of everything as you guys know, but you'll see here in just a little bit, I did end up keeping those two canisters in the bathroom. I just turned them around so you couldn't see the lettering and I liked the shapes and the color and it kind of went with the aesthetic so I decided to go ahead and keep them. If you notice, there are a few more things in here. The galvanized M sign I got at Dollar General for uh, Mandy, and it was only $5. My Oh My God Becky sign is one that I made. If you missed that video, I will link that in the cards above as well. Also, here is my So Fresh and So Clean sign. I'm so excited about these uh, signs, you have no idea. Well, you probably do because I haven't shut up about anything in this bathroom yet. 
but they look so good. Uh, here is my they see me rolling sign here with my toilet paper. I'm so super excited. Also my uh, please have a seat. It looks perfect where it's at. I also love the black toilet paper holder where I spray painted it. It looks perfect. It just gives that little pop of color right there on the side of the countertop. I was going to paint the roller as well, but I thought it would all get scratched off, so I decided not to. This little soap container I also got at Walmart. It's glass. It was only $3, and I thought it looked perfect. So honestly, you guys, I spent less than $75 doing this whole bathroom, and I couldn't have imagined it turning out any better. I really stepped out of my comfort zone on this one. Please let me know what you think, um, how I did. Leave me a comment below. What is your favorite part of the new bathroom? Also, let me know which room I should try to tackle next because I'm going to do it. Uh, Fred made me another shelf. I've got one more shelf and I'm putting that somewhere in my house. So make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Again, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that before you leave. I would love to have you a part of my family. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Hey It's Mandy. I will leave all the information in the description box below. I really appreciate you guys coming by and watching this video. I had so much fun doing it. As always, I love you and I appreciate you and I will see you next time. Bye.